With constant questions surrounding President Joe Biden's mental fitness, critics are demanding he take a cognitive test. Because if we've ever had a sitting president that needs a cognitive test, it's right now. This is an absolute disaster. One of the most popular is the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. It's a 10 to 15 minute test that assesses things like memory, language, and spatial skills. I mean, the famous question is the five words that you have to remember. So we give you a list of different words, and then you would have to keep them in your memory. The words usually have no relation to one another, so it makes it even harder. I spoke with the inventor of the test, Dr. Ziad Nasruddin. He says if there's a question about a leader's mental fitness, a test like his should be administered. We need to uh, make sure every person who wants to have um, a job to that level They should at least be physically healthy and also cognitively healthy. A new poll from Monmouth University shows only 32 percent of voters are confident in Biden's mental and physical stamina. That's down from 52 percent four years ago. Despite the concerns over his health, the White House says the president will not be taking a cognitive test. He is sharp. Uh, he is on top of things. He, When we have uh, meetings with him, with his staff, he's constantly pushing us. Person, woman man, camera TV. They say, that's amazing. How did you do that? You might remember former President Donald Trump has boasted about acing a cognitive test after getting a lot of pressure to take one during his presidency. It's actually not that easy, but for me it was easy. Biden's aides are reportedly concerned about special counsel Robert Hur testifying on Capitol Hill next month. Now his description of the president as an elderly man with a poor memory in his report about Biden's handling of classified documents set off the current mental fitness debate and Hur's upcoming appearance is certain to keep the issue front and center. In Washington, I'm Janae Bowens.